Now, earlier you touched upon the business of broadcasting. Can you speak a little bit more to what's changed and maybe what's stayed the same since you entered the baseball scene in 1974? I think the biggest thing that's changed is social media. Uh, We didn't have that when I first came. And um, with the coming of social media, there should become a a bigger sense of awareness. Um, What you do when you're behind the mic or you're in uniform playing a game and, and the awareness of where you are and what you're doing and how you're representing yourself and the people who you work for when you're away from the game. Um, you know, guys get on the road and they go out and they party sometimes, not like they used to <laughs> because of social media. And everybody's got a cell phone and everybody can take a picture of you no matter where you are or what you're doing. That was not the case when I first came. So I, I would say that social media, as in any walk of life, not just sports, but it, in anything has had such an impact on the game of baseball uh, and football and hockey and basketball, et cetera, uh, probably over and above anything else that has, uh, that has impacted my game. Um, the rules have changed. There are things that are, that are implemented now in the game that weren't there. The DH uh, had, was in the American League when I came in 74. The National League obviously has never had it. Um, I Could change. Like their, I don't like their chances of not having it in the years to come. I think you'll see the DH in both leagues. Um, but they, they're, they're essentially the things that I think have, have created the biggest changes in the 46 years I did Reds baseball.